Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joni Young, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe and tap that bell. Uh, we're gonna start off with this rose painting, a bouquet of roses requested by one of my patrons. So thank you so much for requesting this. We've got cobalt blue, titanium white, uh, any large blending brush that you want on this 11 by 14 canvas. I'm gonna make uh, it lighter all around the edges and keep it that dark blue right in the center where we're going to start our bouquet from. Just doing a crisscross, blocking in method, doesn't matter, whatever you want your background to look like you can do. And then I'm going to go into an angle brush now and I'm going to start pulling in a little bit of my white with my neon red. I'm going to take a little bit of water, blend the two together, and I'm going to start to make it look like the... Um, fabric around the bouquet almost like a beautiful tool for a wedding bouquet and just come in with my angular brush here and pull and twist and create little triangles and you want some parts to be a little bit more transparent and see-through so you'll use a little bit more water and less paint for that Just going to continue and wrap around pull and twist my brush just to make some edges look more angular and some of them look more like flowing ribbons and you can use this brush to create both of those effects as i'm demonstrating here it's a really fun way to kind of help to draw our eyes in gradually to the flowers in the middle so we're working from the background towards the foreground and the foreground are, are going to be the flowers so we're just going to continue doing this layering sometimes i'm going to use a little bit more uh, either white or my neon red and sometimes I'll use more paint and then more water. This will give us those layers of tulle and ribbon that we want, and it'll just really make it look like it's layered and it's 3D. So finishing this up, I'm going to go back to my cobalt blue and my white and mix the two to make a light blue violet. And I'm going to add a little bit more blue this time and come in and gradually add a few more shadows along the side of the top left corner in between some of the triangles and the um, straight edges that we have here just to add some more um, slight shadows. And I'll do this for a little bit and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, for our next step, we're gonna start painting our baby's breath. I'm using the corner of my angle brush, dipping into my titanium white so it's nice and thick, and I'm just gonna dot and dab little areas here all over for our baby's breath. I'm also gonna be tinting my white with some neon pink and some neon orange and also some neon red. Uh, this will make it look like we've got different shades of baby's breath, and it's gonna make this really, really pretty lots of warm beautiful pinks and corals in this bouquet and here you can see I'm using a little bit of my neon pink with my white and I'm going to start to dot and dab some more little uh, baby breath flowers here so we'll do this for a little bit I'll add a little bit around the ribbon as well just to accent those colors Okay, now I've got uh, more pink on my brush and less white, so I'm kind of using more paint than white now, more color, uh, making it pop a little bit more, and you can see how pretty this looks over top of that um, cobalt blue. Once it dries, it'll be a really pretty purple lavender-ish color. And I'm going to go around and just dot and dab some more little flowers here and there. Very, very easy, just using the corner of your brush. You don't even need to switch brushes, but if you want to, you could use a liner brush or a round brush for this. So I'm gonna continue along building out my bouquet one little flower at a time 
and then we'll move on to the next step. up some of my beautiful neon orange now with my white I've got a little hints of pink in my brush as well so when I pull and swirl into my ribbon and my tool here I am pulling out all those colors and they're blending softly together and it just looks so so pretty I'll add a little bit of sap green now I've got a round brush that I'm going to use taking a little bit of my white neon orange but mostly sap green, a nice deep, deep warm green. You don't want to use a blue green for this. You want a yellowy green. And then going over the cobalt blue area, you can see how deep and rich that color looks in there. And this is going to be where we have our uh, darkest shadows making our roses look 3D. And just all the other little flowers will stand out even more. So I'm just dabbing, pulling around, wiggling in and around between all of those little flowers in the center, focusing on this part of our bouquet. So I'm now going to come in and pull a few little uh, stems for our baby's breath using the very end very lightly hardly any pressure at all a little bit of water a little bit of sap green um, so wherever you have a little baby's breath flower you can start from the bottom and just dab and pull and flick for tiny little um, stems for your flowers little lines here and there you don't have to have this on every single one and if you pick up a little bit of white and pink along the way that's fine too now with a clean brush and a little bit more of my tinted white, either with the peach, like the peach color or a light pink color, I'm gonna come in and add a few more layers of tulle and outline a few other areas. Okay, and now I'm ready to start my flowers, my roses. So with a small flat brush, I'm pulling into my white, orange, and pink. I'm kind of just gonna take a little bit of each color, not blend them all together to make one color. I wanna just have those colors flow through and gradiate naturally into each petal. So I'll start the center of the flower, small, skinny little lines as we go out further in the flower towards the edges, the outside of the flower, I'm gonna push a little bit harder to make push and pull at the same time making the outer um, petals a little bit wider and I'm going to load my brush in between just picking up either more color or more white or all of the above the colors with the white and like I said just letting those colors blend as I push and pull them out into each petal this way you get a really natural looking petal um, with the colors kind of deepening and highlighting on their own. Um, so it's kind of like a one stroke painting. Um, it's not quite toll painting, um, but it does definitely work and you can see how quickly I'm getting this done. This is in real time. So I'm leaving some spaces in between right for those natural shadows. That's why we have that uh, dark color underneath the blue and the green. And I'm just gonna start doing the same technique, making other roses slightly different from um, each other of course they're not all going to be the same they're kind of going to be turning in different directions but you want to keep that same rule of thumb smaller little skinny lines for the center of your flower work your way out and make them larger you can make some of your petals um, be a little bit um, more angular on the ends like a triangle and come to a point very edgy looking that makes them look really natural too so a bit of both round and edgy I'm just going to continue along painting each rose with the same technique again using those same pretty colors my pinks maybe a little bit of neon orange you can pick up all those colors and I love the coral that this neon orange makes uh, mixed with a little bit of pink or even just with some white it's a really it's a cool neon orange so it's more of a bluey orange um, making it have more of a glowing pinky um, tinge and tinge to it 
and we're going to continue doing this and then we're going to work on the next step. Okay, so I'm going to come in and start adding some more shadows now. I'm going to take my blue and my white and come in here and just scumble in a little bit more uh, for a softer shadow. Once I do this, I'm going to come in and start adding, building up the greenery in the bouquet. So adding more of my sap green. And I'll also add little flecks of this and little hints in between some of the flower petals for a little bit of a shadow as well. And just coming in now with more and more of my sap green, dotting and dabbing in and around all the baby's breath, around the rose petals. This is going to make them stand out a little bit more as well because they're quite light um, against the light background. It's a bit pale. It's very pretty looking, but I want this to um, just have a little bit more contrast. And with my small brush, I'm going to add a few more miniature roses in and around the rest of them. So we'll have smaller roses, little rosebuds, and larger roses, as well as our baby's breath. And just easily do this with a liner brush or a very small round brush. I'm then going to add a few more little branches, um, little lines for my little um, stems, not branches, <laughs> little stems for the baby's breath. And then we'll just continue from there, gradually making more and more baby's breath, again using all those pretty colors, combination of the neon orange, neon pink, neon red, little hints of white,
and I'm going to be switching over to uh, my mini mop brush. It's really, really tiny. It's the cutest little brush for making little bushes or little flowers like these um, little baby's breath flowers. And just doing little taps, making them look kind of fuzzy and soft. Tapping into those colors again, the white, any color that we want on our palette, pink, orange, red. If you guys don't have neon colors, that's fine. You can just make lighter colors by taking... Um, your brightest reds or your most, most blue cool reds and just tinting them with a little bit of white. Um, it's really fun to add some neon paints if you've been thinking about it and, and wondering if you feel comfortable with using neon paints. Um, start maybe just with the more fluid ones, the Kraft Apple Barrel or Americana. They're, they're nice, especially when you mix them with a little bit of white. Um, I use Whole Bean Luminous Heavy Body Neon Acrylics. They're the viscosity uh, is great and they last for a really, really long time. Some neon paints can fade over time, but um, Whole Bean definitely don't. So I'm just going to keep building up this bouquet. Lots and lots of baby's breath. Just tap, tap, tap really lightly. You don't want to over tap one area too much or you'll lose that little bit of a textured look that you get and all those little um, petals and layers. So it's best to just tap it on, leave it and move on to the next spot. And now that we've got quite a few little flowers, I'm going to go in with my little liner brush again, a bit of water, sap green, and I'm tinting my sap green with just a little bit of the neon orange to give it more of an earthy, warm um, tone to it, almost like a brownie green, um, which is really nice. It's nice to have some more earth tones when you're using a lot of pretty colors. It's a really nice balance. So I'm just going to pull little lines here and there. You can put some of your, to make it look more realistic, have some of your baby's breath in front and over top of some of the rose petals. And we'll just continue doing this. And this painting is just about done. As I um, add the final details to this painting, I want to thank you guys for all your requests on Patreon. Thank you for all your, your support, making it possible for me to continue to do what it is I love to do. Um, which is to paint full-time and bring you guys videos and tutorials, teaching and sharing my love of art with all of you. I want you guys to have a wonderful day. Wish you happy painting, and I'll see you next time really soon in another video. Bye, everybody.